Welcome to DIY with Diamond Tack Co. In this video, we'll show you how to braid a six strand halter. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Start by cutting three strands at 15 feet each. Measure out five feet and tie a knot. Cut three more strands at 10 feet each. Measure out three feet and eight inches and tie another knot. Our first braid will be the nose band. Here I'm doing a six strand flat braid. The nose band will be 12 inches. We'll then take the shorter three strands and braid seven inches for our left chin piece. After clipping that out of the way, we'll move back over to our three foot, eight inch strand. We'll braid out another seven inches and then we'll find the center of our nose band. Double check that both chin pieces are the same length before moving on to the lead rope tie loop. For the tie loop, we'll use a doubled up three strand braid for eight inches. To form the loop, we'll want to find the two chin pieces that cross at the beginning of the doubled up braid. Make some space and push your center strand through. You'll want to push it through the same direction as the unbraided rope on the nose band. A helpful tip is to remember that you're looking for the X. This will prevent slipping. Before continuing with the doubled up braid, you'll want to make sure that both of the groups that you didn't push through are going around either side of the lead rope loop. After that, we'll continue braiding four inches of the doubled up braid. You'll then split your strands back into two groups of three. Braid both sections out to two inches and then do an overhand knot. This gap is where we'll slide our throat piece. Take a little extra time to make sure the knot is tight, but that you still have enough room for the rope to slide through that gap. I like to use my pliers to make sure the ropes are extra snug. You can cut the excess off here and burn it, or you could leave them as is, or you could frill them. Next we'll move on to our unknotted section of rope. This will be our left cheek and our pole tie loop. Mark your braid at 9.5 to 10 inches and braid out another 8 for the loop. Just like with our lead rope loop, we'll take our center strand and thread it back through that 9.5 to 10 inch mark. Make sure both the unthreaded strands go on either side of the braided piece. We'll then continue to braid 18 to 19 inches for the throat piece. It's also a good thing to keep in mind that exact measurements aren't as important as evenness. After the throat piece is braided, we'll go ahead and slip it through the jaw piece that we made earlier. Then we can just clip that and move it to the side for now. After that, we'll move back up to our last knotted section. This will be our right cheek piece. To compare length for this one, we can just check it against the left cheek piece that we did earlier. From there, we'll join our throat piece and our right cheek piece. This will lead us into our pull strap, and we can finish this one of two ways in the easy level. Our pull strap is going to be at least 32 inches, but longer if desired. The easiest way will be a doubled up three strand braid for the full length of it. Another easy alternative is to braid out six inches. You can then flip three strands back and out of the way and continue with only three strands. After finishing your braid, you can come back and cut these extra three strands and burn them if you'd like, or leave them as is. You can finish your pole strap with a fancy knot, or you can just do an overhand knot. I like to make sure this knot is also extra snug. After that, you can leave this as is, you can cut it and burn it, or you can frill it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and check us out at our website, diamondtackco.com.